Hey everyone, a oh, warm good afternoon to all of you. This is me, Tapos Kumar Pradhan, a student of the political science, and I would like to welcome to all of you to this session of my YouTube channel. So, in this session, we are trying to learn about uh, the important topic uh, that uh, also we will discuss about that uh, what are the basically questions right now, uh, basically asking in the SSB interview political science. As you know, guys, from the 7th January. Uh, the SSB political science interview has been uh, started so as much as basically I got uh, the information from our friends that they told us that the topic around uh, they providing the time is like 10 uh, almost 10 minutes for the demo topic and along with the question is basically they asking uh, about uh, something uh, like uh, some question are related to demo topic also some question is uh, outside the demo topic so you have to be prepared accordingly that uh, uh, that you can able to answer those questions which they are trying to ask so not only focus on the uh, the question related to demo topic also focus on the general idea for example uh, i got to know that they asked the questions uh, on basically the 18th uh, january that uh, someone's like uh, uh, the difference between the human rate versus the fundamental rates okay so they asked the question and as much i basically predict here uh, what is the logic behind they ask these questions why not ask any other questions as much as i predict i don't know how far you believe on that idea because right now if you see the world is go through like war crisis and conflict be it your russia ukraine war be it your israel and hamas war so there is a somewhere down the line the violation of human right okay the violation of human rights. So they are trying to ask the question which is related to now the current affair. Okay, but also related to our topic. Uh, so you have to prepare accordingly uh, that what kind of question can be there. Okay, because they are not asked through any randomly questions. Okay, so you have to prepare that what kind of question there and what is the right now scenario of the the world and the be it the India and how it related to the topic of political science. Okay, what can be there? What can presumption based questions? Okay. So you have to smartly prepare in this day because if I talk about to, there is less of time okay in that time you have to prepare. So nonetheless we have discussed to the topic that which I feel that uh, in any kind of the any of the days of our interview political science that can be asked related to it or it also okay. The concept is like your guys the principle of the just war right now what happened the war is going all over basically world okay. And also be it like India also, like you can see northeastern uh, sites, there is also war going on. So they can ask the question like being a part of the political science student, uh, what should be our call about the war, what is the principle of war, okay. So they can ask the question, that is simple, okay, because they ask the question human rights violation, what is human rights and fundamental rights. Now they can ask the question about the principle of just war. So in the theory of the principle of just war, if I talk about, there is a two concept guys, one is like your just at bellum and another concept is the just in bellum it is also asking our registered political science so i hope it is very very important to all of you those are looking for upcoming interview upcoming examination or the basically the things okay so let's uh, started understand the difference between of this concept because it looks like uh, equivalent concept but there is a too much difference so let's start just at bellum is uh, refers to right recourse of war okay right recourse of war that means what then on the other hand, Joss in Bello deal with the right conduct in war. Okay, right conduct in war. Joss Ad Bellum talks about right recourse of war. That means the before war. Okay, before war or going for the war. Okay, going for war. What are the reasons? Okay, that is how it is a pre war and it is the during the war. So before the war, what do you require to do? What is the principle you have to follow for a Joss war? And this one is like uh, during the time of war, what is the main thing you have to take it in your considerations. Okay, that is how you can remember here just add below that means what is the add before the things that is add that is what the recourse of war. Then just in below, just in below means what during the time of war, what you do. Okay, so what are the principle just add below the principle like right cause. So before going for the war, there must be a right cause why you are going for war for example if i talk about why israel why did israel go for war okay or attack the hamas okay why because hamas initially 
violate the sovereignty principle of Israel. Okay, and it is a right cause to declare war. So this is our right cause. Okay, it is the just war because no one can claim that uh, the Israel war is not just war. It is just war because it is the right cause that Hamas violated the sovereignty of Israel. So through the example, I am trying to understand here that is how there must be a right cause. If India going to attack in your future, Pakistan, not I hope not doing that so in future. But if India going to attack the Pakistan in your future, there must be a right cause. That is how call is the just war. Okay. But on the other hand, Joss in Bello talks about humanity. First of all, we will discuss this thing, then we will move that thing. Okay. So Joss start Bello, right cause, then proportionality. So according to the jaw start belong, there must be proportionality. For example, if you proportionality simple here means what? Now there must be a, a maximum. Basically, there will be a good minimize of the evil things. That means, uh, for example, you take a effort for a war. You take your resource. You take your military weapons. You take your physical weapons and different things. On the proportion of your effort, that the victory should be legitimate. Okay. For example, if I take you example that. All you guys study, all you prepare, okay, and we all trying to justify our preparation with our result, okay. We are trying to get result that how much effort we put in proportion to that our result should be legitimated. So we always trying to do that thing that we study this hour, this hour, and we are looking for the result and should be we should get in proportion of our study our result should be that. So this is what proportionality. Similarly, in the war, we generally understand that. The a country should get the benefit. A country should get the maximum advantage in proportion to the weapon, in proportion to the different resource basically used. For example, Israel used the different resource, and Israel's use the different resource should be based on the its result or victory. That is what the word proportionality. Then next, just add below lies legitimate authority. Legitimate authority means what? That one can declare a war. They must have the legitimate authority, or who have the legitimate authority? The government. The government has a legitimate authority of any country. They can declare war, and they have the power. It is not the non-state actor, or it is the NGO. They have no power to declare the war. For example, if I talk about NGO of India, NGO of India have no power to declare war against the other states. So it is the government of India. It is the government of Israel. They declare the war because they have a legitimate authority. They is based on the But so proper basically state the structure these are things. So this is what legitimate authority here comes. Then right intentions that if your war should be based on right intention, not half hazardly. Okay, there must be a right intention that what is you going to do and what is your limitation you have to be take into consideration during the conducting the war. That is how the thing just develop before the war. These things require before the war there must be a. Right cause why are going for war? Then proportionality, legitimate authority, and the right intentions. Then Joss in Bello. So guys, in Joss in Bello, what happened? That during the time of war, what need to do? For example, it is before our examination, what we require to do? Now we have to follow the syllabus. We have to study very disciplinedly. We have to focus the PYQ, and we have to attempt the mock test. So this is how before the exam we do. But during the time of exam halls. In the examination hall, examination hall, what should we do? That is how related to the just in bello. You can remember that thing accordingly. So right conduct in war. That is the thing. Humanity during the time of your war, during the time of the war, the country should do, remember that humanity concept there. Humanity concept in the sense like they already asked the question that difference between human right versus fundamental right. So this is how you can relate. Okay. So human rights. Human right in the sense. They talks about even if your enemy, the individual in the war, even if the individual is becomes your enemy. Okay, for example, Israel, Israel in Hamas. Okay, Israel attack on Hamas. So Israel should be taken to consider the concept of humanity. That the Hamas people, if someone is like injured, if someone is like uh, in a prisoner of war. Okay, if someone is surrender. So it is the responsibility of Israel that. To treat them as a human, not the inhuman treat. Okay, not a inhuman treat. That is how, according to Justin Bello, even if you catch the enemy, you should treat the enemy according to the humanity principle. That being a human, you have to treat accordingly, not as like an animal, not a treatment like an animal. So this is what humanity. So that's why they ask the question: difference between human rights versus fundamental rights. So this is how you have to prepare. 
accordingly we can make a a lot of assumptions that how you can connect the topic to different angle different question can be framed so that one is of ability that you have to be improve yourself that they are going to ask the any kind of question but you have to tackle that question then discriminations during the time of war the one state you have to consider in your mind that they should not attack any civilian they should not attack any non combatant who are not basically a soldier or not a military person so the discrimination must be there when israel is going to attack the hamas israel must to take into consider that israel not going to attack any hospital medical not going to attack any school or the civilian okay that is how discrimination they have to be meet the discrimination here okay that is how the principle of jos in bello then proportionality it is overlapping concept to the jos at bello as i said so this is what the jos at bello and jos in bello the two different concept again i am repeating jos at bello before your examination what you do or what you don't do and jos in bello during the examination hall what you basically do and what should you do that is how basically we compare study so through the help of you can take understand so this is all about from my side i hope now it is clear to you thank you guys have a nice day